Jesus, what are you guys doing here? You just hanging out in my garage waiting for the next episode? Well, come on, use a hand anyway. Wow. So, you've not seen the F100 in a while, and I've really not done anything since last time I saw it. The only thing I've done is start scraping some crud off. And I uh, disconnected a line from my power steering pump before I thought maybe I should start recording. Other than that, though, I have not done anything with this thing besides pull the interior out, which coulda, woulda, shoulda been an episode, but I didn't do it, so peep this out. Oh, don't look, it's so bad. Oh. It's not too, too bad, uh, actually. The hole could have been cut better when they did the uh, three-speed swap. We'll take care of that when we put the new Hurst shifter in. Uh, they do actually repop these sections of the floor on both sides. It looks like that's what these are. They just weren't installed properly. Uh, but as far as this section... And back here goes, I'm going to have to fabricate that myself. So, uh, I'm going to have to pick up a brake, and we're going to have to do some uh, metal fab, obviously, to get that taken care of. It's going to be a super fun experience for me, because uh, I'm not that experienced with metal, but I'm making that shit myself, because I can't find one. If anyone else knows where I can find a full section of an f100 uh 70 78 is what mine is actually uh all the floors should be the same but uh yeah if anyone knows where you can get those for a, a fair price let me know yeah, i know you can find those floor sections and stuff but i can't find that rear section for under the seat but let's get on task and what today's task is going to be is just finishing clearing the rest of this crap out um gonna go ahead and get the power steering pump out of the way uh, the EVAP system and everything. I'll probably leave the line in. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to end up using it with my new carb setup and everything. But go ahead and get all the wires and just everything. Uh, and again, this is still kind of staying kind of cruddy and rat rowdy. But I do want to probably relocate some stuff and do some cleaning. I do want to paint the frame. Uh, obviously, make that look pretty and stay in its current condition. But... Let's quit talking and start working. I predict that you will not be able to turn this record off. No, no, no. stuff stripped out real quick let's check out what we did boom I don't expect anything crazy here like I said I was just basically just stripping wires out of the way for cleaning purposes um and, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna hit this with some degreaser and a wire brush and probably just a bunch of clear coat uh, I'm not going crazy here. I'll, I'll probably maybe actually wire wheel some of that crud off there but I'll probably patina that to make it look cruddy too but I'm gonna go through here and power wash everything get all the crud off here clear coat it lock it in that's all this is about um, another thing that I'm doing while I'm in here is I'm probably gonna maybe burn close any holes I'm not gonna use and this thing is real breezy there's a, a gasket right there well there should be a gasket that's silicone uh, around the accelerator linkage and same thing for the clutch leakage down there. Uh, they just silicone that. I'm gonna replace those gaskets so it's not so breezy in the interior. Uh, it was actually pretty bad. Um, and we got, we just got a power steering pump being reused, uh, heater core lines not being reused. 
Uh, I don't want those. I'm not going to take the chance of those leaking on my freshly painted, brand new, fresh engine. Uh, that EVAP thing, I don't even know what, what the hell that thing's supposed to do. Um, that's just kind of, uh, that's just 70s era emission stuff, and we ain't playing that game anymore, so I can get out of here. And, uh, really, guys, as much as I hate to say it, that's about all I got going for you. Um, Cheddar is a little tight right now. Uh, just back to work. Holidays, you guys know the feeling. Um, real quick, though, my egg hangers came in for the, uh, the Schwinn, so beat that out. Uh, I was hoping they would make it in for the episode, but they obviously didn't. Um, and I'm hoping to start reassembly of this truck sometime soon. I know it just seems to just keep tearing it apart, tearing it apart, tearing it apart. Um, I actually have probably parts in the shopping carts of every company you could possibly think of. Uh, what I really need to do is just go get some metal. I'm as much as it's going to suck to do it in the cold, I'm thinking about doing the flip kit on this thing sometime here soon. But um, pushing that off because I'm hoping my next purchase is going to be the pistons and cam bearings and everything. So we can take this engine to the machine shop, get it all slammed back together. Probably put it in my basement until I can do my heads. But uh, I apologize for uh, what's probably going to be a short, boring episode. Uh, hope everyone had fantastic holidays, New Year. Um, and again, thanks for tuning in. I think I'm almost up to 120. Thank you guys. Like, I just keep going up and up and up and up and up. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe, like, share. Let's just keep growing. Deuces.